All right, so I have my assistant Stella here with me, and we're going to show you how to find the derivative of this function at the point pi over 6, 1. I'd first like to show you, just sort of as a side note, that if you plug in the pi over 6, you're going to get, this is the cosecant of pi over 2 plus the cotangent of pi over 2. Now the cotangent of pi over 2 is 0 and the cosecant is uh, 1 over the sine of pi over 2 and uh, the sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. So this really is equal to 1. They didn't just make that up. Okay, so now we need to take the derivative. And the way we're going to take the derivative is in two parts. Um, first, we've got the cosecant of 3x. So the derivative of cosecant is negative cotangent of 3x times cosecant of 3x times 3. Yeah, that's what I get. Plus, the derivative of cotangent is negative mm -hmm. cosecant mm -hmm. squared of 3x mm -hmm. times 3. That's right. Okay, and so you're, you're just writing the right thing. I am, that's true. Okay, so when we plug in the pi over 6, here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to move this 3 up front. Negative 3 pi. times the cotangent of, hi Stella, when you plug the pi over 6 into the 3x, you get 3 times pi over 6, which is pi halves. Cosecant. You know, they're sitting on the table. Of, again, you get 3 times pi over 6 is pi halves. Oh, hey, and there's Odette. <laughs> Minus 3 times cosecant. I'm going to write that since it's squared. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it through this one. Come on, girls. Stick with me. Um, cosecant of 3 times pi over 6, again, is going to give us pi halves. And the whole thing is squared. So right here, we need to evaluate. The cotangent of pi over 2 is 0. And the reason for that is that it's cosine over sine, and cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So that whole first term, hey, Odette, out of the way. Thank you, dear. That whole first term is going to go away. So what we're really left with here is negative 3 blah, cosecant of pi over 2 squared. And the cosecant of pi over 2 is 1, as we talked about just a little while ago. So we got negative 3 times 1 squared, which gives us negative, hey, 3. Whew.